so generally what happened is that when you look at the sum and the product of the roots questions uh, in dp there this is the first type of question on the um, quadratic equation so what we'll do is first understand the basics of it like well, how do we proceed for such questions so if you have a question let's say ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero um, the first thing that we got to understand is what is the sum of the roots and product of the roots now any quadratic is generally written as if if i say that a root uh, root of a quadratic is alpha and beta so if i open this up you get x square minus alpha plus beta times x plus alpha beta so when you expand this is what you get and it is the same quadratic equation as this one so if i divide because you see coefficient x square here is one i'm taking so you do that out here as well so you get x square plus b over ax plus c over a equals to zero now, if you make a comparison, what you notice is that alpha plus beta is actually minus b over a, and alpha into beta is actually c over a. So alpha plus beta is minus b over a, and alpha into beta is c over a. So now this is the first thing that you got to understand, is that if in case if you want to write a quadratic with the roots given, you have x square, the general backbone is x square minus sum of the roots times x, sum of the roots times x, plus product of the roots. Now, out of this example that I've given, I'm just saying, okay, let's say if you got a quadratic whose roots are two and three, and I wanted to find out what quadratic is that. So it'll be x squared minus two plus three x uh, plus product of the roots, so it'll be six. So the quadratic that you got is x squared minus five x plus six. So like working backwards, like generally what we do is we factorize this way, but actually this is the backwards method where you have already the roots and you want to get back the quadratic. So this is basically the general backbone in which you write. One of the important results you remember is minus b over a is the sum of the roots and the product of the root is c over a. So how do you do this question now in this context? Now remember that here when they expect you to solve this question, they are not asking you to find the exact value of alpha and beta first. Because once you have got the alpha and beta, you can just substitute in this expression and you can get the equation. But actually what they're asking is read the question carefully x square minus 4x plus 13 equals to 0 has the roots as alpha and beta. Find another quadratic. And here, without finding alpha and beta, basically, whose roots are alpha square and beta square. Now, in such cases, you're going to always write down the backbone of the equation first. That is x square minus, now sum of the roots here. So sum of the roots is alpha square plus beta square times x plus product of the roots. So that is product of the roots, which is alpha square beta square now next task is to find out this value how do you find out alpha square plus beta square so alpha plus beta which is nothing but minus b over a here so minus b over a that is nothing but four over one which is four so sum of the root actually is here four and product of the root is c over a so alpha into beta is 13 over one so thus alpha into beta is 13. Now, what we got to do is, in, in order to find this thing, what we use is a standard result. We all know that alpha plus beta, the whole square when I expand, is alpha square plus beta square plus two alpha beta. So if I make this subject, you get alpha plus beta, the whole square, minus two alpha beta. So this part you already know, alpha plus beta is four. So four squared minus two times 13. So it'll be 16 minus 26, so that's your negative 10. So that's your alpha square plus beta square value. And now what you get is alpha square beta square. So alpha square beta square will be nothing but, uh, alpha beta is nothing but here 13. So alpha into beta, will alpha square beta square will be 169. Square plus beta square is negative 10 here. So what we do is we put back this value here. So it'll become x square minus 10x and plus uh, 169. So this will be x squared plus 10x plus 169. So this is the quadratic that whose roots are alpha square and beta square. So, so for the second part, what is going to happen is that some of the roots that we have is basically x squared minus 1 over alpha plus 3 plus 1 over beta plus 3. So that's the sum of the roots. I'm just going to use the standard backbone that we have here. Plus 1 over alpha plus three uh, times beta plus three. That's the product of the roots. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna simplify the expression values that I have got here. So simplify the expression values, which is like, let's say uh, 
alpha plus beta we already got is four and alpha into beta is 13. So we just find out these expressions and substitute them here. So I'm just first gonna find out that one over alpha plus three plus one over beta plus three. If you take LCM of these, what you get is alpha plus beta plus six or open the bracket alpha beta uh, three alpha three beta plus nine. So alpha plus beta now we got is uh, basically nothing but four. So four plus six or four alpha into beta is 13. So 13 plus three times four, if I take that three common and plus nine. So that is 10 over 13 plus 12 plus nine, which is, uh, this is gonna be 10 over 13 plus 25 is, 13 plus 12 is 25, 25 plus, this is 34. So that is nothing but five over, nothing but five over 17. So this, this in this case, this value that we got is five over 17. Now the next step is that you've got to multiply this part here. So if I, if I simplify this one, what we get is alpha beta, three times alpha plus beta plus uh, nine, which we already got here, if you see it's 34. That is one over 34. So now when you put back this value, what we get is x squared minus, let's say I wanna just use this part since it is 34 here. So x squared minus this part is nothing but 10 over 34, so 10 over 34 x plus one over 34, which is the product of the roots, that is this value. So now if you simplify this, what you get is 34 x squared minus 10 x plus one is zero. So this is, the, this is the quadratic whose roots are this. 